Don't get me wrong, I love the firepower, but this damn thing is just too heavy. I need to replace it with something more modern and better. So I went to an auction and bought this thing. Some Argentinian guy sold it to me. I guess it was from his grandfather or something. It looks really old, but it was super expensive. This thing was not cheap, but at least it's in a pristine condition. Here we have the basic operation of the Luger pistol. We insert the magazine and we have to make sure to press it in so it clicks and locks. Now we use two fingers to pull the bolt completely backwards and then release it. This now loads the gun. We engage the safety and holster it. Now when needed, we pull the gun out of the holster. Watch out for your finger so it's off the trigger. We disengage the safety. And now remember, before shooting, always give a loud, clear demand. Hey! The handgun is now empty, but to make sure that there are no witnesses, we'll use this one simple trick. Now that we know that this thing shoots great and it's super reliable, but where can I find a holster for it? Battle on Solutions! Modern holsters for modern pistols. After an extensive research that I did on Reddit, I found out that this is some kind of Mauser pistol and, and they just call it a mop handle or something like that in the comments. But essentially this was used in the Vietnam War. You can see that by the markings. One, seven, six. Not bad. Not bad at all for 100 years old pistol. Shoots nice, just works. Let's take a look at the main features of this handgun. Now you can immediately notice that it looks different from normal modern handguns. This is because it uses different kind of technologies to achieve the same goal, but better. For example, this cycling system, as you can see, it moves back and up. They actually took inspiration for this system from the Chris Vector, of course, they were not able to copy directly because of the patent, but they used a similar system where the vector of recoil transfers from directly back to up. This way, reducing the strain on your muscles and bones. You may notice that the whole barrel and the slide recoil back. You see, they move back together. And this was actually inspired by the American M114 howitzer. It uses springs and hydraulic buffers to tackle this immense recoil from 9mm rounds. The rear sight is minimalistic, so it does not snag on things when you conceal carry and you have to draw it quickly. And the front sight is attached directly to the barrel for improved accuracy. Let's do an accuracy test. It's a bit high, but 
This is actually really, really good. It's actually amazing for a smoothbore barrel. The grips are crafted from a special biochemical composite reinforced with lignin fibers and it takes decades to transform to its final form. And it's also 100% vegan approved. If we look at the controls, we see that everything was made with purpose. It had a lot of thought behind it. For example, the safety here, it's made in a way that you cannot accidentally put it on during an operation. The trigger is a progressive single stage that doesn't have a distinct wall, so it always surprises you when it goes off. The magazine release is in a perfect place that when you turn the gun around, you can reach it with your thumb and the magazine does not fall free, so you don't lose it. Another thing that surprised me is that we're using modern ammo. Uh, this is Solarium Below 147 grain or something like that. It's subsonic, flat nose. These rounds do not work well in old handguns, for example, 1911 style and so on. But this 100 year old handgun still runs it decently. The magazines are aftermarket, they are shit, but um, the pistol doesn't mind. The decision to go with a single row magazine was heavily influenced by Colt because that way they can make the grip more ergonomic and the grip angle is perfect for one-handed CQB operations. The disassembly lever was definitely inspired by Beretta, but after Schmeisser scientists saw the video documentary Lethal Weapon 4, they decided to install a safety feature where you cannot disassemble the gun with one hand unless the bolt is fully back. Smart. But this thing doesn't even have a slide release! Well, yes, you're correct. When Luger was designing this pistol, he looked at HNK, specifically the MP5, and decided that he really likes the MP5 slap. So, how can he implement this in his pistol by also removing the external slide release? Because we all know that's only a liability. Well, you put an internal slide stop into the pistol, no external release, and then when you do the reload, you just do the Luger slap. What I love about this pistol is that the Star engineers thought ahead and designed this machine surface over here that fits perfectly for the Israeli handgun chassis like the Micro Roni and turns this handgun into formidable SBR. Honestly, this thing surprised me. This Luger is over 100 years old and it still functions quite reliably. It shoots accurate. I, I'm just amazed. It's a great handgun and it's a shame that they are not produced anymore. Ah! Uh...